Welcome to Lecture Online and here is example number 11 of how to do integration by parts on something that looks very simple, the sine square of x dx, but if you don't use the integration by parts and a neat little trick, you're going to have a really hard time trying to solve this problem. Alright, so let's go ahead and, um, and try this. We're going to let u, in this case, equal the sine of x, which leaves dv to be equal to the sine of x dx. Okay, this may take you a few trials if you hadn't seen this trick before. Now notice that if you multiply u times dv, which is what we have on the integral sign, you get back what we started with, so so far we're good. That means that du, which is the derivative of sine of x, is the cosine of x dx, and v, which is the integral of the sine of x, is going to be the minus the cosine of x, plus of course the constant of integration. Now let's substitute that back in the formula for the integration by parts. So that means that our integral is equal to u times v, which is sine of x times the negative cosine of x. Cosine of x minus the integral of v du, and v is the minus the cosine of x, and du is the cosine of x uh, times dx. Now multiplying this negative times this negative and writing this as cosine squared, we end up with the negative of the sine of x times the cosine of x plus the integral of the cosine square of x dx. Okay, now we could go ahead and do the integration by parts again, but if you do that, you end up with kind of a circular thing where you end up back with the sine square of x and you cannot integrate any further. But remembering the the trigonometric function that the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x is equal to 1. So the cosine square of x is equal to 1 minus the sine square of x. And if we substitute that in for this, see what we end up with this time. All right, so this is equal to minus the sine of x times the cosine of x plus the integral of 1 minus the sine square of x dx. So we can now write this as two separate integrals. So this is equal to minus the sine of x times the cosine of x plus the integral of dx minus the integral of the sine square of x dx. Now we're in business because, remember, this whole thing here is equal to our original integral. So let's now write it as an equation, setting this equal to this. So now we end up with the integral of the sine square of x dx is equal to what we had on the right side, which is the uh, minus the sine of x times the cosine of x, plus the integral of dx, which of course is simply x, minus the integral of sine square of x dx. Now, if we move this term over to the left side, then we'll have two of those. So now when we do that, we get two times the integral of the sine square of x dx, which is equal to minus the sine of x times the cosine of x, and that doesn't look very good, times the cosine of x plus x. And then if we divide both sides of the equation by two, we now have the integral of the sine square of x dx is equal to this, of course, plus a constant of integration. And that's how you do a problem like this. Very tricky. So the first thing you do is use integration by parts, but you let u equal the sine of x and dv equal the other sine of x dx. Then once you put that into the uh, formula for integration by parts, you end up with a cosine square of x, use the trigonometric identity to end up with a minus the integral of sine square of x on the right side, when you move to the left side, you add it to the left side, you get two of those, divide both sides by two, and there's your solution. Very tricky.